My name is Sarah. I'm a certified diabetes educator. I'm here today to demonstrate how to use a glucagon emergency kit. Glucagon is a medication that's used for severe hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. It's given when a person is unable to take food or fluids by mouth. It's typically given by a bystander, a family member, friend, colleague, someone who has witnessed the hypoglycemic event. The first thing to do in, an, in a hypoglycemic emergency is to retrieve your glucagon kit and open the kit. You're going to find two things inside. One is a vial, which will contain a powder medication. The other is a syringe, which has liquid solution in it. You're going to flip off the top of the vial and pull off the cap to the needle on the syringe. Then you want to inject the solution into the vial and swirl it around until you see that that, that that medication has dissolved and it becomes clear. Then you're going to turn it upside down and draw the solution back into the syringe until you've gotten all of it out of the vial. Then you're ready to give it. Hold your syringe like a writing pen or a dart and you would give the um, glucagon in any place that you can give insulin, which would be the abdomen, the uh, thighs, the arms, the buttocks. And you want to hold it and go at a 90 degree in angle into the skin and inject the entire amount of medication and then take it out. Meanwhile, you want to make sure that that person is placed on their side because glucagon can sometimes cause nausea and vomiting. The patient should respond, become alert and awake within, within less than 15 minutes. If they do not respond, you want to call 911. When the person wakes up enough to be able to swallow, you want to treat that hypoglycemia with some, um, some form of carbohydrate. 15 grams of carbohydrate is specifically what we'd like to see you treat with. That can come in the form of glucose tablets, that would be four of them, or uh, four ounces of fruit juice or um, sugar sweetened soda, not diet. Um, you can also treat with um, a tablespoon sugar, honey, or syrup. And then wait 15 minutes, recheck the blood sugar. If you're not yet in goal, you would treat it again and wait 15 minutes again. After you've established that the patient is at goal blood sugar, you want to be frequently monitoring for the next three to four hours, every 30 to 60 minutes. If, the if you're having trouble maintaining that blood glucose, then call 911 or seek emergency medical assistance.